analog film has been around since the late 1800s and although most movies and content creations today are shot on digital cameras, the classic analog film look is still desired by many filmmakers and creators around the world. The problem is that shooting analog film is quite expensive and not that straightforward to do like with digital film. To shoot analog you need a camera that can shoot with film stock and you need to stack up with film that is meant to shoot movies with. And it is here the cost starts to add up. And of course to showcase your film you need a projector or pay to get your film reels digitalized. Luckily there is a simple and quite effective way to emulate the classic analog film look from the old days, even though you shoot digital. And it is called Dehancer. Dehancer is a plugin that is available for DaVinci, Premiere and Final Cut Pro. There is even a version available for photo editing. So when the people behind the Hanser contacted me to see if I was interested in testing out their plugin, I was curious to see if it could help me to step up my game when it comes to the pure aesthetics of my videos. What can you expect from this plugin? Is it easy to use? And is it worth the investment? That is some of the questions I will try to answer in this video. The plugin currently comes with 63 different emulations and supports a good variety of camera models as a base for choosing your film emulation. And I would have to say that the most interesting effects besides the emulations itself is the way you can add and fine tune film grain, bloom and halation. In the film grain tab you can choose the size of the grain as well as the amount. You can adjust the resolution which will affect the sharpness and you can choose how much of the grain that is showcased in the shadows, midtones and highlights. Or you can turn it off if you prefer a more clean image overall. Bloom is an effect that is visible in the brightest areas of your image. Bright light sources and highlights will bleed soft light around its source and create a dreamy, hazy effect that blooms the lighting. Halation is a visual effect that usually occurs around highlights as well, and appears as a red-orange halo glowing around the edges of overexposed or bright areas in your frame. This can be personalized to your own tasting, making it subtle or dominating, or turning it off completely. Then, besides the more visible effects that I just mentioned, there is possible to add imperfections that often occur in film like film breath and gate weave. Film breath is basically small changes in color and exposure that can occur every now and then. And gate weave is easily explained small movements in frames due to mechanical imperfections either in the camera itself or in the projector. You can also shift the temperature, exposure, contrast and overall color inside the plugin itself, so everything you need is baked within the software. However, when playing with color and light it is all about experimenting. Personally, I found it useful to sometimes jump to for example the curves tab inside Final Cut itself to do more specific adjustments to the final look of my footage. I was a bit skeptical about this plugin at first to be honest. There is so much you can do when it comes to grading within Final Cut itself and there are overlays and effects that can be added to make your footage look old and grainy. So do you really need a tool like Dehancer? Well, I wasn't quite sure myself, but after playing around in the Dehancer plugin I was starting to enjoy myself more and more and could really see that this is a very powerful plugin and something completely different than tools like for example Color Finale or Cinema Grade that I know many people use for Final Cut. The emulations and tools for bloom, grain and halation within Dehancer is quite unique and very well built as your look can be fine tuned and plotted into your own liking. I can see myself using this plugin in combination with Color Finale actually, or just the built-in grading panels within Final Cut itself. Creating the look in Dehancer and fine-tuning lighting with masks in Color Finale or Final Cut can be one way to take it one step further. Also, when telling a story that is related to the past, this is a very useful tool for enhancing the feeling of your footage being old. The plugin is a little bit heavy, which is understandable as there is a lot of different effects that potentially are being added, but nothing crazy, it just takes a little bit more time to render out your clips after doing your tweaks than some of the lighter plugins. It all depends on your system of course. Also at the moment the pricing is $3.99, so it isn't cheap. 
but you do get a lot of features and options stuffed into this plugin and it is an easy and powerful way to emulate film. I recommend you to try out the free version first and if you want to buy it, I did get a code from the Enhancer that will give you some discount. You will find that in the description as well. I hope this was helpful, there is plenty of in-depth tutorials out there for you to check out. This was more of me sharing my experience about this plugin as well as showing you what type of features that is hiding within the plugin and my results of playing around with the tools from a standpoint of no experience with analog film from before. So that's about it and I will see you in the next.